Hey, everybody. Happy December 16. Oh, my goodness. We just finished our star quarter, and I'm going to celebrate my stars, and Joe will say who her stars are. We're very proud of each and every one of you. But two finished at Emerald. Ashanti and Christine McKnight finished at Sapphire, and I'm really proud to say that Christine McKnight is on track for the Kate Spade Consistency Club. Woo, woo, woo. Yay. Uh, okay, my stars. Um, Jules Elizabeth, some girl I've met, um, has been a star quarter. Has Stalker. Been a my daughter has been a star twice and um let me think who else patty paleo um kathy nolan um uh kathy phillips who is now uh kathy crawford um francine eisenman jackie eisenman the dynamic duo and um joan teal did i say joan marcia stevens maureen o'toole coger um i'm stretching here i know there is 11 of us so they're all posted on Facebook. <laughs> I know I didn't prep Joe to tell her names, but here's the thing. I just want each and every one to know you guys have helped your uh, amazing executive director earn the leadership uh, banquet. And this is a really, really big deal. When you have a total of 15 stars, 15 for the two quarters, your director gets to earn this very prestigious ball, and Joanna gets to represent all of us. So, yay, Joe! Thank you, Dre. Thank you. Yeah, and that's a great. Um, she is the speed of the leader, speed of the gang. I know that she personally was at the 9,000 mark for Pearl, and you know it comes down to it's so much more fun when you grab friends to join you on the journey. And Fatu did the same thing. Fatu is now a red jacket, soon to be star team builder. Uh, uh, team leader and we want all of you to be in that red as you know this month when you are a red with at least three active team members if you're a first timer you're going to get the rock and red jewelry we want you to be celebrated for what you have earned and um, if you are a repeat red and you bring in one qualified team member with a team production of a thousand wholesale then you will get the decal that awesome beautiful decal that goes on your compact but and you know we finished go ahead um we just finished quarter and so some of you were like oh i just don't know I, I never was able to make that decision to run and go for it and it's really a decision and now you have 12 weeks to really make it happen and if you will just take those teeny weeny bite-sized pieces we call them star days and track it on your monthly perfect star sheet you will be a star and you will have that recognition that you so deserve but you'll also have the respect from your family and from your customers and the best part referrals from the Mary Kay website so be a star make that decision it's really a decision and when you I put this on my personal unit Facebook or uh, text message when you take it away from if it happens to the mindset of it must happen there's nothing stopping you and go ahead and pick your prize out um, if you go on in touch under contest and promotions you can pick out your prize for the new quarter right now put a picture of it up copy the pictures put it in your bathroom put it everywhere go for it you have to work with intention you really do and I did work with really serious intention this past quarter and you know it was like when my mother passed away I just thought she would not want me to just sit down and just be sad all the time she would be like well she probably come down from heaven and kick my little tail but she would want me to continue to work and Andrea and I both qualified for the party at leadership and so we'll be doing that together and everything is focused around Hawaii and things like that so we're really excited but um, Andrea is on target for National Court of Sales so you guys we tell you this because we want you to know we are not just sitting here you know watching everyone else work you have directors who are in the field and we are working and so the great thing about us working is we are practicing what we preach and we are learning how to tweak because things change and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about reaching out to the guys in your life before, um, you hmm? before you do though hold on you said something I didn't want to um, I want to make sure this is all in the same section you guys I have made a decision to be a triple star so I will be on the National Quarter Sharing, I will be National Quarter Sales, and I will be Unit Club to be leading you in the same direction. And before Joe tells you about some ways that you can be a star this week and that you can actually build your business this week, I, I wanted to reinforce being a star if you finished don't miss earning or choosing your prize which normally will be in the next day or so you'll see an email as well as a link 
if you don't act on that quickly, your prize might be taken by everybody else. Mm -hmm. So just keep your um, buzzers or your alert on and make sure you choose it as soon as it is launched on InTouch. Thank you. Okay, and before I go into these scripts too, I wanted to remind you guys, um, we are doing moving and grooving through, um, you know, right into the holidays and all. Andre and I are working all of that out. And um, talk to me Tuesday. I know you, I, I said, you said, not you said, I said, we weren't going to do it this month. Um, and yet, we are finding some extra training opportunities for everybody. So a lot of you guys ask questions. You ask tax questions. You ask us how to close out the end of the year, things like that for the fiscal year. And we are really asked by Mary Kay not to answer tax questions. We are not licensed CPAs. We're not certified. All we know is what our accountants tell us. And so especially a lot of um, our newer consultants that are, you're finishing your first year, you're like, what do I do? So this Tuesday, during the Talk To Me Tuesday time, and it is posted on our Facebook page, um, we I have a link for a Zoom video, my personal account that I've had for 20 years. Um, he lives in New Jersey. He has done my taxes for years. He has always said, Joanna, if you could just teach anyone who owns a direct selling business how to do this, he said, you have a formula. And, you know, instead of me trying to tell you my formula and maybe leading you astray somewhere, because I do the same thing every year and then he applies the tax laws to it, he's going to answer our questions. Now, several of you have already reached out to me and said, oh my goodness, I have a party that night or I have a commitment that night or I have a Mary Kay party that night. That is fine. If you will email, text, or boxer Andrea and I your questions, we will make sure that Steve answers them. Okay, so I just wanted to remind you of that also um, on, okay, on January 1st, Andrea and I are going to be doing some training on some huge, huge Mary Kay nude. Huge just, Mary Kay nude. Just know you, you want to you do some good stuff this month so that you can be set and ready. So our challenge, after I give you these scripts, we're going to give you a challenge. Andrea is going to talk about that. And it's going to really be focusing on new faces and contacting customers and having that, that contact established so that when you are booking up for January, you, it's not like you call them and it's the first time you've called them in six months. You're going to do that, some of that this, this week and next week in just a little bit of downtime here and there. And Andrea is going to talk about that in a minute. So I don't want to steal her thunder, but it's so important that you make contact with as many people this month as possible because you are going to want to launch something on January 1st and you guys I, it is killing me not to share this with you killing me but I just promise you I promise you I promise you you need to be on this call so it is going to be a zoom video the link will be on Facebook 4 Eastern 3 Central 2 Mountain and 1 Pacific time on January 1st um, I would recommend you jump on in touch on January 1st read all the announcements kind of get to know what's going on. Don't depend on us to spoon feed you. We are going to hit the highlights and we're going to show you how you can use this to really be a game changer January to June. Then the second Tuesday in January, I'm going to have this fabulous, fabulous young woman who works for an investment um, counselor and they have different products that they talk about that help you really plan for your future. And she does this out of the goodness of her heart. It is not to sell you anything. It is not to try to sign you to anything. It is just to give you some advice on investments, on um, ha what type of insurance you should have. Should you have liability insurance if you run a business out of your home? She's going to answer all those kind of questions. She's super smart. She knows knows her stuff and she has a heart for women. She is a single parent and she has a huge heart for helping women, especially women who um, are single parents or are single period and they need to start this now. Okay, so that being said, um, Andrea was asking me about my scripts that I use for guys and she said it rolls off your tongue and we need to have it in front of us. So because um, I do everything Andrea Zajac tells me to do without hesitation um, because I'm a smart girl, um, I just want to let you guys know that this these scripts are going to be attached to this recording as soon as I post it. But there's several different twists to it, which is why it's important for you to listen to me and then read the script and then maybe listen again. But I want to tell you, um, you know, I hear a lot, this just rolls off your tongue. You just say this, you say it so fast. That is because I have confidence in my scripts. The reason why I have confidence in my scripts is I've done them a lot. 
and I know what works. I know what works when I'm talking to someone voice to voice. I know what works in an email. I know what works in a boxer. I know what works in a text because I've done it so many times and I've been doing this for so long. So instead of trying to reinvent the wheel and reinvent the cotton gin, let's just go with what I'm teaching you today, tweak it a little bit, put it in, its, in your own accent, change the names of course to the appropriate names, but try doing it my way just maybe three or four times. And then if it's not working, call your director and we will listen to you do it and we might be able to fix it a little bit, okay? And just tweak it a little bit for you. But this morning, um, we just have an amazing praise and worship group that starts um, our service every morning. It just really gets our hearts ready for the message. And this morning it hit me. I'm like, you know, they started one song a cappella, and basically the, the leader just kind of put out a note like, hmm, and then they all went into it. And I'm thinking, wow, just to start something like that. There's no lead in, there's no music, they just sang it. Well, why do they just sing it? What makes them able to just sing it? They practiced, it's confidence. It's confident, they are confident that when they open their mouth and they apply that pressure on their esophagus and their windpipe and uh, their breathing diaphragm and all that, that that note is gonna come out. When you stand and sit back down in your chair, you are confident that chair is gonna hold you. Um, you know, there are some things that we practice over and over and over again, and we're confident in it. So I just wanna really encourage you guys, call some people and say, hey, can I just practice this with you? Tell me how this sounds. I, how complimented would I be if a girlfriend who is in another business or something calls me and says, Joanna, I'm working on some scripts and I want to sound natural, but I, I want to stick with the information and get to the point quickly. Would you mind listening to me do this script and then give me your feedback? You guys do it. People help support what they help create and they are going to help create that script and make it better for you and then they will support you. So reach out to people who have never heard these scripts and say it to them. And you'd be amazed at how they can tweak a little tiny thing and it all of a sudden it sounds like Sarah, it sounds like Mary, it sounds like Beth, it sounds like Lizzie, it, it will sound like you. Okay, so um, if you know, that, and this is scripts for men, that not for men, but to men, if you know them a little bit, like let's say my neighbor behind me, um, we know them, we know Mike and Sally, um, but I don't have a relationship with Mike, I have a friendship with Sally, and they'll pop over and stuff, but I'm not real close to him, which that's about normal, you're more close to the wife. So um, I would say something like this, and this is, can be a text, a phone call, or an email. Hey Jack, this is Susie, and I'm calling, contacting you, either way, to make sure you have Mary's holiday gifts all done, or do you need a little bit of guidance? Okay, so let me do that again, where it sounds a little bit more natural. Hey Jack, this is, well, let me say my own name. Hey Jack, this is Joanna, and I'm just calling you just to make sure that you've got all of, of Sally's gifts squared away for the holidays. I mean, are, are you good, or do you need a little bit of guidance? No matter what he says, I already got her a gift, we're not doing gifts this year. Um, I've, I've got it covered. What the heck do you want? No matter what he, no matter what he says. Or, yes, I need help. You say. So, first off, do you have a stocking gift? And have you done a pillow gift for her yet? If not, please consider me to be your pink elf. But I just do. Stop talking. Because he's going to say, stocking? St what do you mean, stocking gift? Well, usually, and this is kind of sexist, but usually the mom does all the stocking stuff. Mm -hmm. And so he may not be thinking about that. Or he might say, oh, yeah, I got her some candy or whatever. Well, I do have a couple of ideas that will make you a hero this holiday season. If you'd like a couple of stocking stuffers or even a gift certificate to put in her stocking wrapped around a Mary Kay lookbook, I can do that for you and I can stay well within your budget. Now, personally, guys, I always give them a little bit more than they pay for. And I say, whatever you decide is your budget, I will do a gift certificate for that and a little bit more. 
So it's my gift back to you for being loyal to me. Okay, if they say, what's a pillow gift? Or I've got her stocking covered or we don't do stockings. Then you say, a pillow gift. And I'm going to read to you what I wrote. This is so special. You know how Christmas evening everybody's a little bit tired and they're kind of ready for a good rest? Well, when she goes in to take her shower to get ready for bed, you leave this gift on her pillow for her. It's super simple. And it can be her favorite Mary Kay product, which I will let you know what that is, or even a gift certificate with a romantic CD and a note from you that says, you are my gift every day of the year. Thank you for all you do for our family. Now, how much you spend just basically depends on how much is she worth to you. How big of a hero do you need to be this year? That's it. And guys, I, I realize you're going, it's not that simple. No, it's not that simple. I will tell you that contacting men is just like contacting anyone. One out of three is going to say yes. One out of three is going to say not now, maybe next time. And one out of three is going to say, hey, listen, thanks a lot, but uh, I'm good for this year. Be prepared for that. Because the minute they say, I'm good for this year, then you are going to say, well, keep me in mind for Valentine's Day as I have an amazing gift service and you'll get much more bang for your buck as well as gifts that last and not flowers that are going to die. You always leave it with an open door. You can contact me next time. We can get together next time. Um, you know, or if her, you know her birthday's coming up. You know, Valentine's Day, her birthday, Mother's Day, whatever. Just keep me in mind. I would love to prove to you how really good my service is. Now, if you, um, and I gave you all three different scripts. If it is someone you know, but you don't really know um, their sweetheart, then you can just say, and this is, this is, let me make sure I'm on the right one. Yeah. Okay. You know them, but you don't know their sweetheart. This is best said because you're probably, it's probably someone you work with or you see maybe at church or, you know, you, it, it's, it wouldn't be really cool for you to text them or call them or email them. That would be just kind of awkward. Okay. So you just say, um, Hey Mike, no pressure, but do you have all your shopping squared away for the holidays? Your mom, your grandmother, your mother-in-law, your daughter, do you have, you know, your niece, do you, your office assistant, do you have everybody squared away? And he'll either say yes or no. And then you say, okay, well, and then you go with the script before. You know, I would love to be your pink elf. You know, I have lots of gift service. I can do a gift certificate, yada, yada, yada. Have lots of options if you give me your budget. And you guys, that's the best thing to say. I have lots of options. If you give me your budget, I can work with it. If they say, well, I don't know what kind of makeup they wear, or they don't wear makeup, or they, guys don't know. Then you just say, then a gift certificate is the best way to go. Because we have so many products that are not makeup, but they're fabulous products, and it's 100% money back guarantee. And they'll always give you more bang for your buck. Um, if it is someone that you don't know the guy, but you know their sweetheart, then you say, hey, Bob, this is Joanna. I am your mom, your sister, your wife, your girlfriend's Mary Kay girl. I'm just contacting you to make sure you have her gifts, her holiday gifts all done, or do you need some guidance? You guys, you're not telling them what to do. You're saying, do you need some guidance? Do you need some guidance? And there are so many ways around, I already got her something, um, she doesn't wear makeup, I don't know if she uses Mary Kay. I had one of my new consultants say, she talked to a guy and he goes, what's Mary Kay? Basically, you just say, you know what, I can take care of it for you. She will love it, I promise you she'll love it, and if not, it's 100% money back guarantee. And you will always get more bang for your buck than you're spending. You're planting seeds, especially if you guys are brand spanking new, you are planting seeds for Valentine's Day, for Mother's Day, for birthdays, for anniversaries, for all that stuff. I mean, there are so many ways to work a gift service. Um, we even do stuff for Halloween. I mean, you do it for all year long. And then you've opened up that door to say, well, would you mind terribly if I gave you a call the end of January to talk to you about Valentine's Day? Um, don't forget when Mother's Day is. Would you like to go on my reminder list for holidays, birthdays, and anniversaries? Make yourself available. Market yourself. Be confident in yourself. And these scripts are going to be on the Facebook page along with this recording, but you guys, you've got to practice them out loud. It's not going to roll off your tongue just you know, making it up as you go. And if you ever get stumped or you're like, 
school. I don't know what to say. You just say, we have tons of options. I promise you she'll love it. We have tons of options. I promise you she'll love it. What's your budget? And if you don't have inventory yet, or you don't have a lot of inventory, selling gift certificates, you guys, that is so awesome. So amazing. Okay, Andrea, what was the next thing you were going to talk about? Well, I love it. I love it. Well, who's excited to get on the phone and, and really just reach out to your customers. You can reach out, of course, to all the men. And um, when I started my business, I didn't have a lot of customers, but I worked with men. So I actually talked to them. I didn't even have their wives as customers. So what Joe is giving us, um, I, I was laughing because when you said, you know, just use these scripts, one of my friends who um, is very, very successful as a top director, she says, your words don't work. <laughs> she said, use our scripts. And I thought that's so true because we would, we're not where she is. So we want to be like Joanna and use her scripts. And it really means have them in front of you when you're doing your booking calls. It is so, so helpful. Um, so I want to give you just a little thought and a challenge to end because um, I am always listening to success stories. And last week, I just want to do a shout out because we had given you a challenge to complete an assessment. And I think only two women did it and are getting sussies. Am I true? Am, am I correct? Christine and Amy and who was a third? I had three do it. Okay. You had three. Well, I had Christine. Who else? Um, Amy Paul. I don't know. I've got, I, you, okay. you caught me short again. I have to look at my list. Sorry. I think it was Kathy Bowser. I, I'm sorry. Arlene. Arlene. Which name is which, but I'm just really thankful that you guys followed and did some things that are, I know it's going to help you. And mm -hmm. I encourage you to keep working on those. If you didn't try the assessment, keep doing that. But between now and December 31st, oh my goodness, here's what I want to give you as an incentive. We have a little um, sussy for those of you who do it. We have two things. Number one is to have five new faces, new not people that are already on your date book. You have to have new faces between now and December 31st. I'm sorry, they can count if they're already on your date book, but they have to be new customers and you complete their profile. Now, if I were you, I would make sure every single thing she tried and liked, you're documenting on the profile because that's gonna help you when you call these husbands because you have it in her writing, her wish list. But five new customers. And then the second part is I want you to do 10 I love you calls. Now, I listen to a lot of podcasts in one of the millionaires in a different group. He said, when I was young, my father told me to do spin to win. This is before cell phones and it was Rolodex. And so he made a um, habit in his life that every Sunday he was going to pull out his Rolodex of people that he's met. He never, two things he said is he never um, uh, let a new contact uh, be ignored. He put every new contact in his Rolodex. So if you were at a holiday party this last week and you met Johnny who works in the um, engineering department, he put Johnny engineering and he found something about him and he put it in his Rolodex. And then what he did for the youth, uh, and he's done it ever since, and he's in his 60s, he said, every Sunday, I would go through my Rolodex and I would do spin to win. I'm calling this an I love you call. So I'm going to invite you to start this habit where you just spin. And he said he would ask, you know, find somebody and say, okay, let me call Johnny. Hey, Johnny, this is Andrea. I just really wanted to hear how you're doing and, and what can I do to help you? I love you. What can I do to help you? I'm your Mary Kay girl. I want to just do an I love you call. What would make a difference in your life? How can I help you? What's been going on? And so it was nothing more than what's about her. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get anything. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not, I have no angle. I have no um, manipulation or reason for calling except what's been going on for you. How can I pray for you? And what can I do to help you? And he said that goodwill has paid him back over and over and over because he truly in his heart is only spinning to win. He wins by building the relationship. And when the time is right, he can reach out and offer services or assist with guidance, but they will always remember his goodwill. So I invite you to do that so that you can be one of our winners. Are y'all excited? Everyone can be a winner for this challenge between now and the 31st, five new faces, held appointments in the chroma fusion don't forget and of course i want you to make 10 i love you calls who's excited okay so we're going to build that right on top of the december 31st so now december 31st you got a lot of stuff to get done okay this christmas thing that's important too but 
do your color certification, do your skincare certification, do your MKU. If you've already done all three of those, you must add the legal certification to it to get your SESI and the um, personal assessment. When you turn all five of those in or when you complete all five of those, you're gonna get a special SESI from us. And now the five new faces and the 10 spin to win calls. So just, and I realize y'all don't have Rolodexes, but 10 calls to people just to say, you know, I just want you to know I'm thinking about you during this holiday season. And is there anything I can do to support you or help you with what's going on in your life right now? And then stop talking. It's about them, not about you. All right, you guys, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us. We would love to get your take on today's Moving and Grooving. And hopefully I will get it posted faster than last week because it's actually Sunday. And last week it took me three downloads before it finally got in, but that's okay. You got it. All right, love you guys. On three, Andrea and I are going to say bye, y'all. One, two, three. Bye, y'all. Merry Christmas.